So I think I'm gonna give them a try. Here we go. Just, you just get ready. You just get ready. Is that, oh, I got him, boy. Good afternoon, y'all. Welcome to summertime. It's seriously hot today. Like, it's been hot since this morning. We've been coming out in the mornings because that's when we do the stuff with the little chicks. We clean out their coop, get them their fresh water and feed, let them out for a little bit. And when we came out this morning, it was already, like, really warm. I don't know what the temperature was, but it was, like, very warm. Sometimes, you know, in the spring in the mornings, it's a little chilly still. Not this morning. I'm gonna see if the hens laid some eggs in the hiding spot. Nope, she didn't lay any over here today. She may not like it over here anymore since it's growing up. Let's see if we got some in the coop. Jonah and Sissy are over there playing with the chicks now. Jacob, Titus, and Tyler went fishing this afternoon because they want fish for supper. So instead of going to the store to buy it, they went fishing to catch their own fish to cook. I don't think we have any eggs in here either. I bet they have a new hiding spot, y'all. What? We're gonna have to go on an egg hunt. They've switched up their laying times on me again, so I'm gonna have to start leaving them in the coop again until I can see when they're laying their eggs then we'll reschedule their out time because i was short some eggs the other day too and i thought maybe they were just slowing up but i'm thinking they're just changing their laying times and they have a new spot somewhere that they're hiding egg well not they don't purposely hide them but you know what i'm saying <laughs> they found somewhere else to lay their eggs we're gonna have to follow them you found something look at that yeah it's running she's running from you she's scared of that dinosaur so if they catch some fish, that's what we're gonna be cooking for supper. Only I'm gonna make chicken because y'all know I don't love fish. Uh-oh, we got a spot down in the fence. I thought about going fishing with them today, all of us just going, but it was mainly nap time almost. And Jonah and Cece wanted to stay here to play with the chicks. So we just stayed here. That's green. Yeah, those rocks in the stream are nice and clean, huh? I'm hungry. Feed me something. <laughs> Yeehaw! Manly likes to go super high. What'd you catch him on? Seven eggs. Seven eggs? All right, we're gonna need to switch bait here, Tyler. Look at that pollen, boys. Lord have mercy. I know y'all can't see it on camera, but that is some kind of dusty now. I really don't like the uh, real deep, fast rivers. I like these rivers like these. They're not real deep, and they're easy to fish. Now I'm going at her to pick I got another one. Well, I'll tell you what, you'd have made it back in the biblical times as a fisherman, I think. That's the biggest. Oh. He wanted to go back home. That's what that was. <laughs> We're heading over here to see if we can find another spot. Jacob seems to catch all the fish out of these holes, and man, Tyler can't seem to catch them. Something's right. fixing to change. Here we go. Over here in the tournament, guys, I've only weighed about six and a half pounds. Six and a half pounds right here? Yeah. That's where we did call the one in third place. I know y'all don't grunt when you get up there right now, but you will one day. I feel like this is the spot right here, Tyler. Let's see what we can do right here. My time's coming. Well, throw my plate off. All right, everybody, this ain't the spot. We just got to this new spot, and Jacob done hung a pretty good sized one. I hear you, boy. Man, that is a nice sized fish right there now. I see my spot, everybody. I'm gonna throw out right there. Tyler got him. Jacob got another. Is that, oh, I got him, boy. I got him, boy. There it is. This is the best spot. Man, this is a good spot right here. You got him, you got him, pull him in, son. I hear you. Oh, you got him. All 
All right, y'all, we are back inside. Jonah is gonna help me wash up some berries. We're about to make a little triple berry dessert. Titus sent me a YouTube video with this recipe on it, but I'm not making it exactly the way the lady did in the video. I'll link her video down below. We're changing it up just a little bit. From time to time, Titus randomly sends me a recipe video or something. It's like a hint. He's throwing a hint to have this or to make it. Jonah's gonna be washing some raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries for me. It's supposed to only take about 10 minutes to make this, and then it has to go in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, but the actual time spent making it is just supposed to be about 10 minutes. While he's washing those, I'm gonna put some water in the pot. We're putting in three-fourths of a cup of water. You can just sit those over to the side, Jonah. How are they? He's doing a taste test on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta get you the strawberries real quick. So we have our three-fourths of a cup of water in there. Now we're gonna put in a third of a cup of sugar. Just dump it right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. A teaspoon of vanilla. Dumping in the berries. All right, we're gonna let this come back up to a bowl. Then we're gonna turn it down to simmer. And they'll just sit over here and simmer while we make the rest. Over here in the mixer, we're gonna put in one cup and one-fourth of a cup of heavy cream. All right, we're gonna put in three-fourths of a cup of sugar. When it starts to thicken, we're gonna put in this whole container of cream cheese. I wanted the whipped kind. This is what I was talking to y'all about in the grocery haul the other day, but they gave me this instead. It's fine because it's gonna whip up in here anyway. So once that starts to thicken, we'll dump this whole container in. We're gonna take out the berries and leave the liquid in the pot. We need the liquid though, so we're not gonna pour it out. We're just gonna put the berries in here. Okay, we have everything ready now. We're gonna take some lady fingers, which are so good by the way. We all taste tested one earlier. What we're gonna do is dip the lady fingers in the syrup mixture from the fruit. So we're just gonna dip it in, flip it over, and then take it out. They don't have to soak or anything. We're just dipping them really quickly. And then we're just gonna layer it over here. I'm using an eight by eight casserole dish. We'll just fit in however many we can fit. There we go. Now we're gonna put a layer of the fruit. So we're spreading on a layer of the cream cheese, whipped cream mixture. Now we just repeat the layers. All right, it's done. We're just gonna put some berries on top and I'm just gonna sprinkle a few chopped walnuts over the top. You can use pecans, almonds, or you can just leave these off. That's a nice one right there, Tyler. All right, yeah. This has definitely been one of them cast your nets on the other side moments, buddy. We have caught some fish to date. Oh, what they think that thing is right there? It's a mystery tackle box deal. It's a, it's a mystery, all right. It's a, supposed to be for crappy, but... Are you good for trout today. Last cast right here. That was like the fifth or the sixth time we said this is the last cast. You got him.
Okay y'all, so it's almost time to cook, but Manly wanted to come back outside and swing for a little bit. They're getting the grill ready and everything anyway. So I brought him back out here to swing and to look over here where Titus has the yard staked off for me for the garden. He got it all measured and squared out for me the other day, so he has sticks. There's one right there. I don't know if y'all can see them, but there's a stick there, one over here, and then over there and over there. So this is where we're gonna be putting the garden. So I have two water troughs and I was gonna order one or two more water troughs, but I'm thinking now I'm gonna order the grow bags instead. I've been watching lots of videos. Like every evening, I'm watching videos of people growing potatoes, carrots, and onions in these grow bags. So I think I'm gonna give them a try. They're a lot cheaper than the water troughs and all the videos that I'm watching, you know, everybody seems to really like them. So I'm thinking I'm gonna give those a try. So we'll have two water troughs four grow bags. And I also saw that on Amazon you can order tomato plants and I want to know if any of y'all out there have ever ordered tomato plants from Amazon and if they do good. I looked at reviews and there are several different ones but the ones that are called Better Boy tomato plants have really good reviews. Like people say the plants come in really good shape and they produce lots of tomatoes. So has anybody out there ever done that before? I'm thinking about ordering some. There's a motorcycle. <laughs> I'm definitely getting tomato plants this time instead of trying seeds or anything. You know, last year we had two tomato plants and they started producing tomatoes. They were doing really good, but then the garden just got flooded out. So, do you want to go low, high, or super high? Super high. Super high. Here we go. Just, you just get ready. You just get ready. That's really good. That, that's great, y'all. If you need a dessert for any kind of spring, anything, or summer, or any time, that's it. You need a year-round dessert? Mm-hmm. Well, there it is. 10 minutes. 10 minutes to make it, stick it in the refrigerator, boom. It's amazing. It, it's another one of these things just like that. What did we make the other day that I said mm. we can't make it again? That coconut cake. It's another one of those that you can't make again because you, you want to eat it. You gotta eat too. Eat the plate too. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's time to cook. You can walk. I know that they look like twins. <laughs> there you go. Really? 